Hi, my name is Brett Moran, and I'm backstage at the APCTC Super Conference, and we've got David Shepard about to tell us what he just spoke about to a group of around sort of 50 to 100 people. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was a brilliant talk. And you, you. you spoke, your presentation was on uh, the seven reasons why people fail. That's correct, yeah. A bit yeah. of a sort of like straight in your face. Can yeah, you tell us a little bit more bit. about it? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, one of the things that I experienced when I, when I first left my job and set up my own business uh, it was green as the grass. I really didn't have a clue. And I, I failed miserably, you know, and, and, I, and I did that consistently for a good number of years to the point where in 1993, I'd got three business failures behind me. Uh, I'd, I'd lost the house, lost the car, lost the wife, um, no money coming in, no nothing. And I thought, you know, so how did this happen? And I got answers from people, wrong time, wrong place, you know, unlucky, you're not cut out for it, you're too ambitious, all these kind of, kind of things, which I'm sure lots of other people have heard. And I went, well, it might be true but it's not a particularly useful answer. So I set out to find out why I personally failed. And what I found was that every single time I failed, one or more of these seven things was, was there. Mm -hmm. So in May, 1993, in May 1993, I actually found the answer to being able to eliminate these seven reasons from my life forever. Mm -hmm. And literally, it was a massive turning point in my life. Uh, everything changed in the I space of just a couple of days. It, completely changed and I had a, a new future I had a new life I mean it took a while to get a house the car and pay off the debts and all that kind of stuff but immediately I made the shift I started bringing money in which made it all possible yeah and um, <clears throat> the changing point in my life at that point in time was I thought you know the majority of people don't know this because we never taught it at school mm -hmm. you know we're not taught how to be successful we're just taught that the Battle of Hastings was 1066 I mean how useful is that you know um, so I set out at that point in time with my company the performance partnership to teach as many people as possible the things that I learned, but also to teach other people how to work with people around eliminating those seven reasons so that we can get on and create the kind of life that we want. Brilliant. And so when you say create the kind of life that you want, just for the guys at home, listen, sadly, they couldn't make the conference. So yep. shame on you guys. Yeah, come next you should year. should have been here. Yeah, you missed out some amazing content. But just for the guys at home, you know, what benefits, what's the improvement in life, you know, from your personal experience or some probably from the hundreds or thousands of people yeah. you've worked with? Thousands of people over the last 20 years. I mean, it depends what success means to you. I mean, for some people, it means making more money. Yeah. So can you apply this stuff to start making more money right away? Yes, you can. For other people, success means having the kind of like level of health and fitness that they want. Can you use it for that? Yep, yeah, absolutely you can. And or, you know, maybe it's relationships that you want. Maybe you want to have a really f successful, really fantastic relationship with your ideal partner. Can you use it for that? Well, yes, you can. You can use it for absolutely anything. So, you know, I, I actually recommend people don't just use it in one area, use it in all areas. Because quite often with, we're taught, you know, well, you can only have, you, if you have this, you can't have this. Yeah. And I go, you can have it all in actual fact. You can have the money, you can have the success, you can have the fulfillment, you can have the relationship, you can have the body, the works. Brilliant. But you've got to get rid of the seven reasons first. And so, um, are you going to share just a one little snippet on each reason, or not? Or do they? And if you like, uh, but just literally quickly, it'd be great. Yeah. yeah? So, I mean, the, the biggest one that I find is um, a knowledge or a skills gap. The reason why I was failing was because you know the, the other the other six reasons actually why I was the, the reason why I was failing I wasn't aware of them. Um, yeah. So it, you know, as as an example, you know, I set up my business. So I've got to do sales. And the guy who taught me sales said the people who'd buy from me would be the people I had the most rapport with. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes sense. So I said, so how do you get rapport with people? He says, it's a numbers game. You know, some people you click with, some people you won't. Yeah. So, you know, it's, this is in the days before internet and Google. You go, okay, it's, an, it's a numbers game. So I had a knowledge gap. The knowledge gap was it is actually possible to build rapport with anybody yeah. really quickly. Yeah. But I didn't know how to. I didn't know it was even possible. So then, you know, negative emotions like anger, sadness, fear, hurt, and guilt, you know, did I have those? Yeah, I did. But I didn't know that you had a choice around being able to get rid of them. Yeah. So I didn't even look how to. Or, you know, the importance of values in relationships. I didn't know I had values. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know you have them, then you don't know what they are, and you don't know if they're working for you, and you don't know how to change them. Uh, limiting beliefs, like I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I was wandering around going, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough, I'm not go good enough. But I didn't know that it was a belief, and I didn't know how to change it. At one point in time in my life, I didn't have goals. Yeah. You know, you don't have goals to go to school, do you? No. I, no. I certainly didn't. Yeah. I would think you were weird if you had a goal of going to school, you know. Uh, but then when I started having goals, like when I set up my own business, I didn't know how to construct them in a way that actually made them achievable. 
You know, one of the things I did with the guys today was I said, how many people set a goal and you achieved it? Mm. And everybody put their hands up. How many people set a goal and you didn't achieve it? Everybody put their hands up. <laughs> yeah. So what's the difference that makes the difference, you know, yeah. between setting a goal and achieving a goal? And then, you know, the final, the final one really out of the seven reasons is around what it means actually to take action. Mm. You know, a lot of people go like, okay, I've got goals, but then they don't do anything about it. Implement it. Yeah, mm. and implement it. So, you know, th there's a, that's a quick snippet of, this, of, this, of some of the seven reasons. And then, you know, what I discovered was what those seven reasons were. And as soon as I discovered what they were, then I could go, okay, so how do I get rid of them? Brilliant. And that's, that was the other piece of the, seven, the, you know, the session today. And that's where you're the expert in the field to help people, people at home, get yep. rid of them, whether it's business, finance, health, wealth, happiness. Anything. Brilliant. And I think you're so right as well. When you said about the awareness, it's like when you're not aware of something, it controls you. Yep. But as soon as you become aware of it, you control it. So, yep. I mean, David, uh, it's brilliant. I wish I could spend some more time sharing some of your stuff. How can people get in contact with you? Have you got any workshops or anything like that coming up? Yes, we do. Yeah. So uh, my company's called The Performance Partnership. Um, so if you type in www.performancepartnership.com, then you'll find our homepage. We do a free one day introduction to NLP seminar six times a year. And you can sign up for that free um, on, the, uh, on the website. We've got one coming up on the 2nd of November, actually. Uh, but we do, we do six a year. Uh, we've got a big, big, big event uh, on the 7th of December. Again, it's free. It's called Let's Make 2014 Our Best Year Yet. So it's a four hour event, it's a free event. We've been running it every year for five years. We're expecting about 400 people this year. It's a real blast, it's real high energy. Enables you to put 2013 to rest and really go into 2014 making it happen. Uh, and then we have the event I was talking about um, to these guys at the conference, which is our Change Your Mind, Change Your Future weekend, which is where I cover the seven reasons and we actually get rid of them over two days. You can find out more information about that on the website as well. Uh, we run three of those a year. And if you're interested in becoming certified by me in NLP and NLP coaching and timeline therapy and hypnosis, then there's all the certification trainings on the site as well. So there's a lot of stuff, guys, that you can implement into your life, valuable stuff that can transform your destiny, literally, and uh, give you more control. So again, my name is Brett Moran. This is David Shepard. David, thank Thanks, you Brett. so much.